On Wednesday, some Ohio State officials gathered on North Campus for a groundbreaking ceremony where they dug into exciting plans for the future. According to Ohio State officials, the north area of campus is 27 acres and home to 3,300 Ohio State students. Those numbers will soon be increasing now that the North Residential District Transformation Project is underway. We'll end up with about 6,400 students living in this area and it will completely reorganize and, um, and I think improve the North Residential Area. The project will tear down 11 of the current buildings in this area of campus and bring back 11 new buildings, some for recreation, some for food services, but mostly for student housing. To get this 3,800 additional beds or dorm rooms built, we will have enough uh, beds for freshmen and sophomores all to be on campus. This massive $400 million renovation project will coincide with campus's second year transformational experience program, also known as STEP. The STEP project um, is a variety of, of programs up. and opportunities for students in their first and second years to um, grow and to experience ABC. campus. Right now, there is a group of a thousand students in the program but it is expected that eventually all second year students will be involved. These thousand students volunteered, test, as test, did 50 test, of our faculty, test, to test, mentor test. them. Elizabeth Callow, who spoke at Wednesday's ceremony, is a current member of STEP. It's a really um, neat opportunity for students to continue to get involved in campus and to really make their second year their best year. Another member of STEP, Lauren Myers, is also excited about the future of the program. I like um, the interaction that I get with uh, the faculty members, my mentors, and breaking up into the smaller groups, um, getting to work, on a more professional level with students. OSU Interim President Joseph Aludo expressed optimism for both plans moving forward. Without a doubt, the STEP program in the North Residential District will transform the student experience at this university for better and different ways than ever before. Casey says he expects that all first and second year students will be required to live on campus by the completion of this project in fall 2016. Andrea Henderson with The Lantern.